my name is Robert Fox. I'm a 76-year-old fitness instructor, and I want to share with you the McGill curl-up exercise that will strengthen your lumbar low back area and make you more stable. In order to do this exercise, you need some kind of a rolled up towel or a small pillow to place underneath your neck to keep your head in neutral. You also need some kind of a mat, so I have my living room rug here ready to go. Follow along. It could be complicated, so here we go. Backing up. Where's my cushion? My little headrest. There it is. I'm going to lie down on my side, first of all, to lower my body to the mat. Then turn over and get the cushion underneath my neck. I want to get back far enough so you can see my whole body. Okay, so to do this exercise, once you have the cushion behind your, your neck or underneath your neck, you want to maintain the natural curve in your lumbar spine area. So you could put a rolled up towel under there or take your hands and slide them under there. So that's what I'm going to do today. Okay, so one leg is bent, foot flat. The other one is straight and the foot is flexed, which means you're pointing your toes up to the ceiling. That tightens up the muscles in your leg. But you know what? I need the muscles really tight, so I'm going to use my brain, and I'm going to push the knee down on that straight leg into the floor. Try to get my leg really, really, really straight and tight. And then I'm going to tighten up my bum muscles by squeezing them, and maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to get my pelvic floor muscles, which are the muscles that are usually known as your Kegel muscles. Between your pubic bone and your tailbone, there's muscles down there that you need to try to contract. Lots of muscles that need to be worked. There's also a muscle that goes really close to your spine, around your middle, your abdomen, like a girdle, known as your transverse abdominis. We're working on that too. So tighten everything up, and I'm going to breathe in through my nose and blow out through my mouth. As I exhale, I'm going to lift just my head and just a little bit of my shoulders off of the rest or the pillow. Just a little bit. Nothing else moves up. Just my head and my shoulders. Here I go. Breathe in. And exhale and lift your head and a little bit of your shoulders. Head goes down, shoulders go down, and then I switch sides. So let's try that again. But just to clarify, a lot of people, when I show them this exercise, not only do they like to lift their head and their shoulders, but they like to lift their leg up too. You don't need to move your leg. You just need to keep everything really, really straight and tight. So you're tightening up your leg, flexing your foot, pushing your knee into the floor. Squeezing your bum, squeezing your Kegel muscles in your pelvic floor. And breathe in. And exhale. Lift. Remember, when I lift, I look straight up. I don't tilt my head down. Some people do that too, and that's a mistake. Switch sides. Try it again. When you're ready, everything tight and straight. Here we go. Breathe in. Exhale. Rest, switch. So it takes me a few seconds just to get everything tight. My foot's flexed, my knee is pushed into the, the, the floor, my bum is squeezed, my kegels in my pelvic floor are squeezed. I'm gonna use my diaphragm underneath my rib cage to do the breathing. Here I go, breathe in. Exhale and lift. I think I'm getting better at this. Let's try it one more time on each side. Everything ready? And breathe in. Exhale and lift. I think I am catching on. This is a complicated exercise. All right, my hands are underneath my low back to maintain the curve. My leg is really straight with my foot flexed to tighten up everything in my leg that I can tighten with that flexed position of my foot. 
Uh, pushing my knee down into the mat, squeezing my butt, squeezing my kegel muscles, and here I go. Breathe in. Exhale. And lift. And rest. Okay, the McGill curl up. Turn over, push yourself up. Not too fast though, because your blood pressure changes from lying down to sitting up to standing up. You might be a little dizzy. Have you got it? That's the McGill curl up. It's really, really, really a powerful exercise to strengthen that lumbar, low back, core area right there. 